Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So last week and also this week I didn't want to upload a singing video because I didn't want to stress my voice. I caught a cold. It wasn't that bad but I didn't want to force anything so I thought today I'm just doing a talking video about my best tips against like losing your voice when you have an aching throat, like how I'm dealing with a cold. So tip number one, and this is like the most important one, is to listen to your body and to the signals your body sends you. And this also helps to prevent before you get the cold. So for example, I think those things are very individual, but for me, like I try to avoid air circulation a lot because when there is like air circulation in the room with two open windows I feel like that my throat gets drier and then I really try to close one window if it's possible um, yeah this also goes when you're like exercising your voice when you're like hitting notes you didn't hit before and you're like Whoa! and all excited about it Listen to your body when it is enough. It's like, don't just don't overdo it. Train it, but don't overdo anything. Really listen to what your body says to you. Another thing is like, I don't like to sleep without socks because when I have no socks on, I also feel like this dryness here. I don't know, this is like maybe in my head, but you know. So tip number two, I want to show you some of my favorite products I use. I have those two things like almost every day somewhere in my bag when I go somewhere. So I really love them and I also take them with me when I have a concert. I'll show you. So maybe some of you know them, but those are Gratis Bastilles. Um, it's from Switzerland actually. I have them like almost every day somewhere in my handbag with me. So when I feel like, oh, my, my throat gets dry, maybe because I talked a lot or I sang a lot, I take one of oops, these. And the second product are Jewelry Voice. I don't have them here right now because I use them. So this is Jewelry Voice and I take them when it's like in a further state. But if I have like this voice right now and I'm like, oh damn, I have to sing in two days. I take them. I think they help. Really recommend them and I know a lot of singers who use them too. So my third tip is to have also in summer a bigger or little scarf with you like in the handbag just in case you know sometimes you're with friends and then you're in an area where like it's windy and like the air circulation situation happens then you can Take your scarf and don't have to bother anyone to say hey I don't want to be here in this room because it bothers my voice so I really often have a scarf with me and I think those are a good accessoire as well tip number four drink a lot really stay hydrated when you wake up in the morning and you feel this mm -hmm, then take a warm cup of tea just drink drink a lot it helps so I recommend those teas and what also helps is like to do this <laughs> this is just water in here someone told me once about this and I think my theory about it is that you know when you drink it goes like down but then it's here where it should help it's just for like one second but if you do this it stays like in this area for a longer time so um but i think the same effect also has tip number five would be to inhale if you have like a hot bowl of water with um, aroma then you can take like a towel put it over your head and just inhale like the hot water um, how is it pronounced? <laughs> steam, maybe. I'm not sure. Steam. The steam or the... Hello. Da. Damp. Damp. Hot water damp or steam. I don't know, but just make this and then inhale the um, hot water thing with like chamomile tea inside 
or number six to do a warm bath and relax and there are some ingredients you can put in your bathtub so I will blend in everything in the screen and now to my last tip sometimes it can happen when there is a big concert upcoming or a big exam which you are afraid of that we tend to get sick because we are afraid of it and I think I really believe that you are in control of like some part of if you allow yourself to get sick or if you are like oh if I would get sick I wouldn't have to write the exam and then actually you get sick you know what I mean like to a certain point of it you can influence your health with your mind so instead of getting afraid of it exercise be prepared. Also say, instead of I must not get sick, I must not get sick, say in your mind like more a way of I'm staying healthy, I can do it, I'm staying healthy, afterwards I can get sick. So um, I think when you concentrate on the sick, I don't want to get sick. You have always sickness in your mind and you think about it and I think this could cause to, to a certain point that you get into the illness maybe um, but if you're focusing on like being prepared on like you know I can do this um, believe in it I don't know if you had like similar experiences but sometimes when I had like a really big exam or concert and I felt like oh I'm feeling not that good like in a healthy way um, but I was like, oh, I have to do this because I can't retake this. Um, then afterwards, when everything is done and I start to relax myself, then the sickness beats in. I don't know, but this shows me that we are at some point in control of it. So just take it as an advantage. And yeah, the most important point, number eight is, and this is like obvious, but if you have like lost your voice then try to be professional and not to scream or I know the voice sounds funny but don't overdo it don't talk too much don't sing like I haven't sang the last week even now it would work somehow like it would sound well but I don't sing until it's good I have the time and I'm on vacation right now so yeah but when my voice is back, I'm starting singing again. Yeah, I hope you could take something with you. If so, give the video a thumb up and leave a subscription here. Yeah, and then we we'll see us next time.